the PlayStation 4 came out a decade ago. And in today's video, I actually wanted to test it out in 2023 to see how good it performs. I went on Facebook Marketplace and bought this PlayStation 4 for $120, which is a pretty good deal. So hopefully it doesn't disappoint. So inside the box, we have the PlayStation, obviously the controller and the free game with the cables and everything. And it's pretty much nearly packaged, which I appreciate. And yeah, let's see how it performs. But at the same time, I don't want to get my expectations too high. So this is the console right here. And I'm not going to lie, it is a bit dirty and seems pretty used up. But the most important thing for me is the performance. So right now, I'm actually testing the delay. And yeah, I'm not going to lie, the delay is pretty big on the console. Compared to like a PS5 or even a PC, it's a really big difference. I mean, I guess it's not that bad, but still... There's definitely a lot of delay on it. Now, I'm not saying it's not playable because it definitely is, especially for controller players. I think this is a pretty good console still. Right now, we're in an arena match and I see my FPS dropping to 40 sometimes, especially in the lobby. So hopefully it isn't that bad when I actually land in a fight. But still, I can't really expect much from this console. Now, I did get a pretty good deal on this PS4 because it usually goes around for like $200. So it's really rare to actually find it for 120 but still, at that point, if you're paying $200 for a PS4, like an old-gen console, you might as well just buy the Xbox Series S, as that console literally runs 120 FPS, which is really, really great. Now, at the moment, I'm dropping to around 50 to 40 FPS, which is expected because the location is pretty popular, and it should come down to a consistent 60 in the match. But yeah. Like I said, you shouldn't really expect for much, especially since it's like a decade old. So actually having epic graphics and 60 FPS is pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Now I do have an Xbox old gen as well. And the difference I noticed between them two is that the graphics on the PS4 are literally much better. Like I'm not gonna lie, the Xbox One S I think is, it has much worse graphics. Like it looks like you're playing on a, on a Wish version of the PS4. Alright, so in a fighting scenario, I'm getting around 55 to 60 FPS with some light drops to like 45. But you don't really notice it. Like, you generally don't in a fight. It's probably because I got used to it, but still. Now, I don't really know how my aim is on the PS4 because you have mouse acceleration on keyboard and mouse. Oh, you can literally go one taps. So, my aim isn't actually that bad, which is impressive. That's crazy. I don't even know what this guy is. I think he's below me. Oh. Oh, my aim is so bad. And yeah, I really find the timing hard on the PS4. Because I usually click much fast and I have to do everything slow in order to like register. So yeah, there's the delay is like a big problem for me. I'm not going to lie. Especially since my ping is like 4 in arena now. Alright, so someone else actually came. I don't know what this guy is trying to do. Yeah, my ping is just bad. I can't even take a wall. Nothing is placing. It's literally so horrible. Especially with the delay. Nice, another guy there. I can't really do anything. This is actually so annoying. Everything is actually so slow. I haven't even played in a while, so. Yeah, I'm lagging so bad. Literally dropping like 40 FPS every couple of seconds. Which is why I have respect for console players, because back in the day I used to play console as well. I mean, I used to play mobile, but still. For that switch console the console is crazy man now i generally don't get what this guy is trying to do like oh if i had the aim there nothing is registering which i'm clicking and i can't even do a single edit this is like genuinely horrible if i had like an xbox series that's right here this guy would be dead but i can't even do anything because i'm barely able to edit Ain't no way this guy was here. Free refresh on that. Come on. 
He's trying to steal all my loot. I would go for the peace control, but I know I would lose because my aim is just terrible right now. So I literally crack him. See, like, actually, gonna. Wait, what? What? Alright, guys, so as you saw, I couldn't see him because of the graphics, which means I lost that game. But yeah, what I would say is you should definitely get the Xbox Series instead of this. It's a great alternative and it's a similar price as well. Like, I know this is the old version of the PS4 because there's like the PS4 Slim and PS4 Pro, but I don't think there's that big of a difference to be honest. Like, they're pretty much all the same in regards to FPS and delay and stuff like that. Like, I really don't see a reason to get a better version of the PS4 when this thing is like a decade old and the new, newer stuff like the PS4 Pro and Slim isn't that much better. Like, it's a, it's a bit tweaked and stuff for the graphics and maybe a bit more fps but at this point you might as well just get a new xbox i'm pretty sure you can even build a fairly decent like entry level or low level pc for this price that can hold up to 120 or fps something like that like i know you can find some good deals guys so don't waste your money like this I, but if you already have the ps4 i would say it depends on what your preference is if you're not playing competitive or anything like that and you're cool with the 6 fps and stuff then you have no reason to switch because it literally fits your needs but if you need something better i would recommend the xbox series s because it's around 250 bucks i think but correct me if i'm wrong and yeah i think that would be a great deal for console players and another thing is maybe a cheap pc you can build one or find one on facebook marketplace ebay or stuff like that if you buy a new one obviously it's gonna cost you a lot more and if you buy an actually good one, it's probably gonna cost in the thousands, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's literally a guy hiding over here. And I can't even place nothing there. Now, see, this is where I don't like the graphics when you can't really see anything. Because the shadows are like way too shadowy. I don't even know how to say it. But yeah, you get it. <laughs> like, literally, the only thing I can see right now is my skin. And his skin is pretty bright too. Which one HP? Nice. Don't even mind my aim right there. Because it's actually trash. I mean, to be fair, if I actually play it every day on the PS4, I would probably actually become good on it. But this is my first time and it's really laggy for me. Nice, this guy is dancing. He literally gave up after I showed him how to play. But yeah, I would say if you're on the PS4 right now and you don't really like game that much or don't even play competitive, I think the PS4 is just fine for you. If you want to buy a PS4, I would honestly just go for the Xbox Series S, like I said. And but if you like the video and how I tried the PS4 in 2023 and actually showed you the gameplay and how everything works, make sure to like and subscribe if you know it's on as it really helps me. And until next time, peace.